Hello YouTube, it's me MVP Forever, and I'm here to share with you guys a permanent solution on how to fix your PS3 from overheating and getting the yellow light up death ever again. Alright, let's get started. Um, as you guys can see, this is the uh, first gen PS3 80 gig model. Yep, front slide uh, car beater, it plays uh, PS2 games, and um, I think the best thing about it is uh, it's good looking. It's, um, I think this is one of the best... Uh, looking PS3 of all three uh, models that uh, Sony has released um, so far um, I know why I say this and I don't care what anybody thinks um, um, I say it because I have a PS3 um, uh, the slim model back there I think that's the uh, 160 it's uh, it's nice it's um, it runs quiet and I, I have had any uh, problems with it um, but it's not as uh, good looking as this one um, that's why I like it. Um, however, I had um, this PS3 has seen better days. Um, I had many um, issues, overheating issues over the time. Um, I had all kind of yellow, red lights and stuff like that to a point that it just ran out of ideas. Uh, but one of my, I started thinking, how can I keep or do anything or do something to my PS3 without um, taking away from the looks, uh, messing around with the uh, aesthetics or uh, uh, um, um, messing around with the uh, case, altering the case and stuff but yet yeah, I want to keep it quiet, I want to keep it cool you know so it was pretty hard for me to come up with something so I started searching and looking um, well I just uh, randomly watched um, one or two videos on YouTube which I saw some um, um, cooling mods. Some guys are uh, doing some mods in their PS3 and attaching some crazy uh, amount of uh, fans on top of their PS3s and uh, on on the back of the uh, like on the back here attaching some um, um, computer or PC uh, uh, heat sinks and stuff like that, which kills the point of uh, you know keeping your PS3 from you know keeping it clean, keeping it original. Um, another thing, I saw another guy which I think I just gather some ideas from him which uh, I give him you know credit for it but he took it to another level he took his uh, PS3 I mean his uh, power supply out of the PS3 and which he just had to run some heavy duty wires off the back which again it kills off uh, you know kills the idea of keeping your PS3 original clean uh, um, stealthy or uh, you know altering your case and stuff like that well um I think I will show you, walk you around, um, what I did to my PS3, which I think for you guys that want to, you know, uh, gather some of my ideas and still want to keep your PS3 from, you know, keep it original, keep it uh, um, nice. Uh, it's not much, it's simple. Um, yeah, I mean, just walk you guys through. So, yeah, you guys can see. You don't get to see it till you walk through the back, right? That's about it. That's all you need to do. Um, the way I did it, right? I grab a uh, can of a uh, tomato sauce, right? This is not a perfect example, but you get the idea. Here you go. So, average uh, can, right? Um, obviously, it has to be an empty can for you to do it. But to do, you have to heat up the rim of the uh, can here. Make it so, like almost uh, red hot, and once you reach that um point, you know, stick it onto the plastic and carve your way through. Right, you have to repeat the process because the the can tends to cool down, and you know, it's work. It's it's kind of labor intensive, but you get there, and once you do, you get this, right. So, there you go. That aside, okay. Ever since I did this cutout, um, my PS3 never runs, uh, uh, well, the fan never runs at uh, high RPMs, which means, you know, it's a, that there's a lot of airflow going through here and coming out the back, uh, which before, um, the fan used to be running so, it used to be running over time, and still the PS3 was overheating, which, uh, I don't know why Sony, I can't wrap my mind around why Sony didn't never came with an idea, you know, or a thought of just doing the same thing they did here, here, right? Let's say, for example, you see these, uh, 
vent holes, right? Intake and vent holes. Why well, didn't do it? You know, holes throughout the bottom of the PS3. This way, all the PS3 I believe would would not have any overheating issues. I mean, these fans, they run over time. Why? They choking the lack of uh, 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 fresh air. They, I mean, you get airflow through here, but not enough to cool your whole entire system. You know, it just uh, wow. Um, yeah. So another thing. Um, I was thinking. For aesthetics looks, I think just for looks, and uh, for children, um, if there are children passing by, if you have any children, they might stick their fingers in there. Or I don't know why an adult, you know, will stick their finger there while the thing is spinning. It's beyond me. But for looks, I would. I'm thinking of putting a uh, fan grill, drilling one, two, three, four screw holes, and putting a uh, chrome grill. Well, it could be black, gray, uh, charcoal, uh, whatever is your uh, interest of uh, uh, colors, whatever you like. Um, so, I did this mod um, like six months ago um, and had any issues, um, overheating issues uh, since. I mean, I did all kind of stuff. I repaired my motherboard about um, three to four or five times. Um, back then you know and it kept overheating putting um, um you know I just ran out of ideas uh, to the point that I uh, just decided okay I started searching looking at videos and stuff like that but never nobody came out with a, a clean solution clean simple efficient solution like this you know um, for those I think that have uh, a bricked PS3 First of all, you know, I suggest you for you to repair your boards first. Uh, put the thermal compound, you know, one of the, uh, they say, Arctic Silver compound, which is good, um, onto your CPUs. Um, then you work onto your cooling um, mechanism after, you know. But those that have, uh, their, their PS3 are still good and working condition, but uh, have doubts of their PS3 of overheating. Um, this is a permanent solution. If you don't want your PC from overheating um, or never uh, overheat, uh, overheating issues, do this. I recommend it. Um, I should have thought of this a long time ago instead of repeating the process of taking my PS3 apart, repairing my board, putting it back together um, multiple times. I just grew tired of it. Um, yeah, so... Um, I thought I would just share my idea with you guys um, because I think is a permanent solution of, uh, of your PS3 from overheating ever again. And um, if you like your video, um, my video, just uh, thumbs up, like, and uh, I will just uh, make other videos. I and I will bring more ideas for you guys. And I think um, you know, help others. Um, not a bad bad thing to do. So. Uh, Thanks a lot, and i uh, catch you guys later with another video. Bye-bye.